Tjet. Circa 2980 BC. Tjet, also known as Waj, Zet, and Yodigi, in Greek possibly the pharaoh known as Uephes or possibly Atothis, was the fourth Egyptian pharaoh of the first dynasty. Tjet's Horus name means Horus Cobra or Serpent of Horus. Family Tjet's queen was his sister Merith, who may have ruled as a pharaoh in her own right after his death. There is a possibility that a lady called Arheith was also one of his wives. Tjet and Merith's son was Den, and their grandson was Egypt. Reign How long Tjet ruled is unknown. Only one Sikar festival is attested by ivory labels dating to his reign, whose duration is estimated to be anywhere between 6 to 10 years. According to Wolfgang Helk he reigned 10 years. From a calendar entry, Tja is known to have died on a 7 Peret 3 while Tjet began his reign on 22 Peret 4. The reason for the 45 days of interregnum is unknown. Details of Tjet's reign are lost in the lacunas of the Palermo stone. However, finds of vessel fragments and seal impressions prove that there were intense trading activities with Syria and Palesti at the time. Graves at Tarkha and Saqqara dating to his reign yielded pottery from Palesti. Other activities can be inferred from the only two known years tablets of the ruler, one of which is preserved in two copies. The reading of the events described on the tablets is highly problematic. Help translated, Year of the Planning of the Underground Forward Slash Basement Of the Dual Plant, Birth of Lotus Buds, Standing in the Crown Shrine of the Two Ladies The Other Year tablet mentions a victory, the production, birth, of a statue and perhaps the creation of a fortress. Finally, in Masra Laminubia the short inscription Hemka below Tjet was discovered. Clay seals prove that official Amka began his career under King Tje, as manager of the Horsek Hetit Ju estate. Under Tjet, Amka became royal steward. In the early years of the king's successor Amka died after he was appointed to regional responsibilities in the western Nile Delta. Other senior officials under the Tjet were Sekhem Kesaj and Setka. Tomb. Tjet's tomb is located at Abydos in Petri's tomb Z. It is located west of his father, King Tja's tomb. Surrounding Tjet's tomb are 174 subsidiary burials most of them being retainers that were sacrificed upon Tjet's death to serve him in the afterlife. Found within Tjet's tomb was a stele. This stele was a snake surmounted by a falcon, Horus and could be interpreted to mean Horus the snake. Also found within the tomb was an ivory comb with the name of Tjet on it, along with a picture of the stele. Copper tools and pottery were also found in the tomb, a common find in Egyptian tombs. There is evidence that Tjet's tomb was intentionally burned, along with other tombs at Abydos from this time period. The tombs were later renovated because of the association with the cult of Osiris. Tjet owes his fame to the survival, in well-preserved form, of one of his artistically refined tomb steles. It is carved in relief with Tjet's Horus name, and shows that the distinct Egyptian style had already become fully developed at that time. This stela was discovered in 1904 by Emil Melio and is today on display at the Louvre Museum. Another artistic landmark dated to Tjet's reign is his ivory comb now housed in the Egyptian Museum. It is the earliest surviving depiction of the heavens symbolized by the outspread wings of a falcon. The wings carry the bark of Sika, below the celestial bark Tjet's surik is surrounded by two was sceptres and one ankh sign.